Hello everyone, in this video let us go through some of the questions that were asked on the community. So the first question is about uh, how do I get first assignee of uh, issue using a script runner? So Surinder is asking about uh, I need to get the first assignee of uh, the issue. Now in Jira when you have uh, some activity you may reassign the issue to multiple people. Maybe you have one activity that is uh, probably moved to uh, a different team or maybe a different uh, user so in jira there is of course uh, this uh, issue history and you can take a look at the history and you can figure out uh, uh, what happened to the issue but uh, using script you, know, you can also take a look at uh, the change history manager where you can fetch uh, all the information and let us say if you want to figure out uh, the very first assignee of the issue you can actually use script runner and you can uh, re retrieve the value of the first assignee and then you can uh, assign the issue to that uh, first assignee if you want so that is uh, definitely possible uh, using a script runner the second question is about jira cloud banner announcement so this uh, uh, question uh, is uh, basically about uh, how can I set the banner? Can we do it uh, natively on Jira Cloud or uh, we can uh, probably use some add on? So, the answer is that uh, uh, this is not possible on Jira Cloud. Uh, there is actually a feature request. Uh, you can also vote for this uh, feature request if you want. But uh, the good news is that there is actually an app called uh, Simple Announcements for Jira. You can uh, try and use the, this app to set the banner so you can uh, take a look at uh, this app if you are trying to do something on the cloud for adding a message or some kind of a banner on your Jira instance so let us take a look at uh, the next question this next question is about uh, marked a ticket done how do I retrieve it to uh, ready for review now this uh, uh, question is as asking about uh, uh, how can we uh, revert the status of the issue and uh, in Jira you have uh, different uh, workflows assigned to different uh, issue types in the project. Now if you have a valid transition in your uh, workflow, let us say you have uh, three statuses in your, uh, in your workflow to do in progress and done and uh, if there is a transition from to do to in progress and uh, in progress to done then you can of course uh, move the issue forward in this workflow but if you want to go back to the uh, first status or any previous status you can add a transition back in your uh, workflow so that is one option if you have a valid transition and uh, if it allows you to do that transition you can definitely uh, re uh, revert the uh, status or you can have workflow where you have uh, global transitions so let us say you have uh, to do in progress and uh, maybe uh, done so if these statuses are uh, using global transition that would mean that uh, you can uh, do this transition from any status so you will have these three buttons always available irrespective of the uh, current status of the ticket so either you can have global transitions or if there is a transition back to the required status you can definitely do it if you have the permission of course uh, let us take a look at uh, one more question today so this question is about uh, creating a new jira cloud instance from scratch where can i find a good hands-on training and uh, he's asking about uh, we plan to archive our current jira and confluence instance and uh, i want to know if uh, there is a big difference between uh, server product and cloud so definitely there are differences when you compare jira cloud and jira server cloud has some advantages it will uh, help you in uh, not worrying about uh, your infrastructure your application because atlassian will do it for you atlassian will basically uh, manage the instance and of course uh, so they will also make sure that the application is uh, up and running there are some differences when you talk about the features jira server uh, has uh, more customization options and at the same time when you talk about the add-ons or the apps you have more add-ons and apps available on uh, jira server so if you have been using jira server for a for a while then uh, you need to evaluate jira cloud first whether it is applicable for your uh, use cases maybe you are using some add-on and that add-on is not there on the cloud version or maybe if you're trying to do some migration you just need to make sure that uh, the migration is possible 
uh, you will definitely lose some information when you're doing a cloud to server migration. But in case you are using Jira for the very first time and you just want to do a quick comparison, uh, you can of course uh, take a look at my previous video where I uh, tried to basically explain the difference of the UI. The UI is definitely different apart from the features. I'll be making more videos on this topic where I will do a comparison of uh, Jira Cloud and server. So. To give you a simple answer, Jira Cloud has advantages because it will uh, uh, it will enable you to just focus on the usage of the tool without worrying about the infrastructure and the application, but it has uh, slightly less customization options. Uh, and there are more apps getting developed for cloud, but when it comes to ex extreme ex uh, customizations, Jira server is still uh, slightly better in my opinion. You have uh, more options on Jira server. So these are the questions that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.